does oh well classic sends out something right away oh no that's just uh, going into this the looks game. like the start to a normal gate fast expand but i'll have to see how that pans out in the end i do like this map because you have the zelnaga it because it provides interesting points of contention where right in the middle both players can fight back and forth and if they can solidify, if they can secure the hold on that Zelnaga, there's a lot of springboarding actions they can move to either move into the player's third or into the gold. But you do see a lot of play right there in just south of the Zelnaga in later games when they have heavier, uh, larger composition. But for now, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for game three of this best of seven. It's currently one to one. And in the top right hand corner, it is the Red Zerg player, Sue. And his opponent spawning in the top left corner. Uh, it is the former GSL champion. Uh, it's classic. Am I actually saying that right? Yes, I do. That's what happens if you get uh, throw too many big names at me. I get confused. Classic is going to have to deal with an early pool. Well, it's you know it's not that early of a pool, and he went for that nexus first, so we can yeah, see hatch. some early aggression on Sue there. Ooh. This is interesting from Sue because I've seen this happen in ZVT where you'll see two fourlings move out and pressure the Terran player after the Reaper moves out, but not as much versus Protoss. So as you said, how does Classic respond? Classic opened up with a gate fast expand and he should be all right. Actually, it looks like he went Nexus first and then is going to go gate cyber. Yeah, so this will be the prime opportunity for Sue to get damage done. But my best guess is Classic Zealot will just barely be out in time, especially since Classic is the lane with his probe in the middle of the map. Um, and there's only two Zerglings coming out there right away, so he's not going to do horrifying amounts of damage anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, would get a scout off with those Zerglings in the base. Uh, not that there is anything to see quite yet. Yeah. If you can send them out early enough, you can deny the building placement, which is very important on Habitation Station. But because you saw Nexus first from Classic, it's not quite going to happen that way. Probe is going to fall back home. At least it was a Zealot forced out and not an early Adept, which is generally how Classic is aggressive. So Sue opts for the best defense as a strong offense, open up aggressively, and then he can compensate with that aggressive opener by taking a quick gold. And I will remind you, he, has, he took gas a little bit later than normal, so everything is very much funneling into taking this gold and riding a quick mineral wave to victory. Sue doing a very good job positioning in his uh, overlords. This is not generally a popular place to put an overlord, or at least uh, I wouldn't put it there. And he does scout that star Stargate being taken right there. And this one is going to see everything that tries to move out of that natural uh, there. So very good information on Sue right there. And you should feel very comfortable with that gold and all the information he has. He has the entire length of the map to respond. Mm -hmm. At least for now, I do like where Classic is going with this once again with the Oracle. I'd like to see him get a little more damage done. Last game was especially hard because Sue opened up with that quick Hydra, the two base play, which inadvertently helped him defend that, especially with his heavy queen count. This time it should work a little bit better. And of course, you know, once again, you have that exposed backbone. You have the mineral line when Sue is taking at the gold. It's going to be hard to defend once drones are there. For now, Classic moves across the map. Simultaneously, he takes a third base, which is pretty gutsy, but it's going to take a little while until Sue can actually capitalize off of his quick gold base. Exactly. He didn't move out his uh, drones to that gold base in fear of or respect of that oracle. Uh, he's going to get no. Nope. Morph that into the spore crawler right uh, in time. Yeah, it uh, taking the quick third inadvertently ends up working against air. It is not quite as good versus the heavy adept pressure that we've seen out of classic in game one. That would benefit him the most, but yeah, he does not expect generally for that gold to be taken at least this early by Sue. No, uh, we don't yet. Oh, what the? All right. Intriguing. Fleet Beacon. I presume we see carriers siege up Sue's third base at the goal. This is going to be an interesting one where I, I feel like Sue actually has a good opportunity against this, depending on if he invests into roaches or lings, which he does have a roach worn out. So I feel like he has a good opportunity to simply push as strong as he can, snipe Classic, and snipe Classic's third base, crippling him for the later game. 
I'd just like to quickly point out that uh, Sue's numbers are uh, going a little bit up in the star sense. Uh, so some more of you think that he deserves better than the rating he was getting earlier, up to 33% from, I think, 25. I feel like I keep liking Classic's control, or scratch it, not his control. I like Classic's builds in games one and two. They were great, but this one is going to be interesting he, from the vision he has, he would be presuming that he can get the carriers out just in the nick of time, but that's not quite going to be the case unless Sue gives him that time right here. Yeah, and there's a queen slowly marching across the map and deal uh, for dealing with these, and especially if you get there early, if there's only one or two carriers, then you can definitely do that. Are you going to get... No, class is way too good for that. Pull that back and pop that first overcharge in order to get that... Oh. He's going to push that in and shut that down. Depowering, no, it's actually powered from the top right there. Queen's transfusing those, keeping them alive. I love it though. Sue has waited a couple seconds, waits until the majority of the photon overcharges are used, and then he starts pushing into the third. Remember, carriers will take 10, 15 seconds. They'll take a long time to make all those interceptors that they need to actually push this back. Sue pushes into the third base. Coast of Biles are not going to land on these probes. The probes will try to run away. They may run through these queens. Queens are going to focus them down. Roaches, for now, are just killing whatever they can, continuing to put pressure on the Classics third. And looks like they're going to be able to snipe it in the end. Yes, we have carriers out. And I've actually heard some people say it'd be cool if the carriers started with all their interceptors. That would be a way to make them viable in this situation. But Classic assumes Sue is just going to play a little bit more economically, focusing on the late game while he gets a third base up and then rides the peak of that wave when the gold base is going to help him the most and it's not going to be mined out which is right now he's going to continue to push yes we have interceptors out yes we have some cannons but it's one to one and it's looking like sue may be able to come up in two to one in this best of seven series yeah and he's gonna put uh, trying to push himself onto that ramp which is always a tricky position especially against the Kodos. and he is losing lots and lots of units but he's also doing so much damage and uh, with all those pylons being taken down, Classic can't actually warp anything in. He's, like, he's having to deal with this with what he has out now, but what he has out now are two carriers, including one on six bloody hit points, so he is going to clean this up eventually. But I mean, there's a four yeah. piece. Yeah, uh, with these queens backing them up, really, the queens don't even care about the carriers right now. They're just going to move up and kill them when it happens. But GG, well played. Sue takes the game up two to one. I'm biting my words right here. And Classic is making very interesting... You, Classic doing very interesting builds. I loved his openers in game one and two. But after that, it has gone down a hill right there. In very much when you see a situation arise like that where you have two very competent players it is because classic made an interesting assumption he made the assumption that you know what i think sue is going to wait a little bit longer i think he's going to power up on three four bases and then go for the kill while sue i'm not sure his scout how his scouting information was but from the very early game he's planning on taking that gold base and then trying to ride that wave because you have a small amount of time where you have the gold base it hasn't and it takes a while to mine out but you have a small amount of time where you have that really clear advantage when you've taken it so early especially when your opponents opened up stargate and he rode that perfectly and snipes the third and i yeah. and just build wise that was not a strong build for classic 